Hello my dear friends, welcome back to your channel. <clears throat> so Durba here. Uh, this video is basically for Nagaland Board of School Education for those who are giving this class 11 promotion examinations. So we are almost at the end of your promotion examinations. I hope you have done well in the other papers. So one more paper is left mathematics and then of course the computer science paper is still there, isn't it? So some of you may have uh, started a bit late in preparation for mathematics so I can understand I can feel for you you must be having a very tough time uh, preparing uh, you know maybe you must be very confused on what to study what not to study and all but as always don't worry I am there again now see I am going to give you so see like this video is basically for those who are trying to get the minimum marks pass marks okay because those who are trying to get good marks of course you have to study everything so this video is basically for those students who are trying to you know manage survive but remember you should promise me that after this class 12 you're not going to make that same mistake again so I'm going to help you out here but class 12 do study well if you get promoted I hope and pray that you will get promoted all right so see how many chapters do we have 16 chapters now I'm going to give you a very special trick not trick actually but you know I'm going to make your life very easy now okay because I'm going to list out now only five chapters which if you study wholeheartedly guaranteed you're going to get the pass mark no matter what but yes you have to write properly of course that means what you study, you should be studying properly. All right. Now let's get back to the point. Let's get back to the business. Like, see, how many chapters do we have here? Bob, 16 chapters we have. 16 chapters. Now, which chapters are important? Which chapters are not important? Forget about that. I'll tell you what to study. Five chapters, I'm telling you. Just study five chapters. You still have two more days, uh, excluding tonight. So, I mean, those who are watching now. So, you still have five uh, few days. So, five chapters you study that's it now if you look at this blueprint it's kind of really mess um, you know look at the mark distribution this and that but as i said this video is only for those students who are trying to get the pass marks i'm going to give you how many chapters five chapters all right let's get back to the business part full marks 80 pass marks but remember, you promised me that you were going to study well in class 12, okay? Pass marks, 27. 27 is the pass marks. Now, first chapter, which you will study, you should study one of the easiest topics in class 11, mathematics, sets. And this chapter, you will have how many marks? You will have 9 marks. My, my, oh my. Very easy is this chapter. You will be having one one mark question. You will be having one two mark question. You will be having one six mark question. This should not be missed out. All right. Basically, from uh, one point six, I mean for this uh, six mark question, you, you we never know any question can be said. But like from miscellaneous, from miscellaneous exercises, from miscellaneous exercise of chapter one. Basically, these are the type of questions that they always, uh, I mean, you will be given options, of course, internal choice questions will be there, but generally, basically, you know, 15, uh, 16, 18, these are the most common questions. Questions can be different, but I'm just giving you an idea, okay, so I, uh, these are not suggestions, all right, these are not suggestions, I'm just giving you an idea, uh, six more questions, but nevertheless, forget about that. Uh, <clears throat> Let me not give you suggestions because some of you might just study that only and then if it doesn't come so nobody can predict what the question paper is so let me just not talk about that uh, let us not take the risk on that okay so just you do one thing just study this see out of i'm giving you a very good bargain okay out of 16 chapters i'm telling you to study five chapters thoroughly and you'll get the pass marks actually more than the pass marks i'll tell you okay so sets study properly that's going to give you nine marks six seven eight nine all right the next chapter, which again you will tell me that, ah, this is not difficult, is statistics. How can this be? This is just about tabulation. <clears throat> so statistics, you'll be given six marks. 
that's like one six mark question will be there so that's about mean deviation about the median mean deviation about the mean variance standard deviation and that's simple isn't it so do practice properly the other one is probability now class 11 standard probability you cannot tell me that sir it's difficult so you'll be getting one question of four marks so definitely you should polish it off the next chapter which i would suggest you to do is sequence and series I know this is a big chapter, but <clears throat> again, I'm giving you a very good bargain. After, out of 16 chapters, study 5 chapters. That should be enough. So, sequence and series, you will be given 7 marks. Now, out of this 7 marks, you'll be having 1, one mark question and 1 6 mark question. So, 6 mark question. Again, I'm not going to give you any suggestions on that, okay? It's not, uh, it's not my job. So, no suggestions, but study the chapter thoroughly, completely, that's it. Bas. All right, seven chapter. Again, I'm telling you, I'm giving you a very good bargain. Next chapter that I would suggest is conic sections. Conic sections, you'll be given one question, I mean, one question of six marks. So, either here, here I can give you a hint, either you study circles. Okay, maybe you can study circles. Um, hyperbola and ellipse so circles hyperbola in ellipse I am sure that definitely you will end up with one question for six marks okay so now let's calculate the total so that's like nine marks six marks four marks so that's 19 marks plus seven so that's 26 marks plus six that's how much? How much? 32 marks. Bapre, 32 marks. Last mark is 27. So you should study what you study properly and then you will end up getting 32 marks. So just study these five chapters thoroughly over and over and over and over and over again. You end up getting 32 marks. And there are some other easy chapters also which uh, if you get time you can study that is principle of mathematical induction. That's chapter 4. These are just suggestions. Since five chapters, you might just finish it up very easily. So like chapter four, you'll be given one question of four marks. So there's only one exercise there. So you can just do that. There's another chapter, which is chapter six. That is linear inequality. Linear inequality, you cannot tell me that it's difficult. That's six marks, Bapri. Six marks, that's two plus one question of four marks. So here again, you have another 10 marks. So that's like, uh, what do we call it? Like security system. So, you know, so then in total, you can easily go for 42 marks. That's by studying seven chapters out of 16 chapters. That's hardly 50% of the chapters. And this, this two also are very easy chapters. You know that you have studied that. So when we, of course, see, this is just for the examination point of view. Those who are just trying to get the pass marks, just try to, uh, trying to manage. And then uh, maybe you must have promised that, okay, I'm going to study well in class 12 because this is not how it's going to work out, right? Because see, these are important chapters, trigonometry. It's really going to be very important in class 12. And limits and derivatives, these are going to be very important. Straight lines, these are going to be very important. So all the chapters are important, I'm not telling you that these chapters are not important, but now the main focus is the promotion examinations. So I'm talking with respect to the promotion examinations only. Don't get me wrong here. All right. So I'm not saying that, but you can save yourself the trouble by, you know, not studying trigonometry, all these big, big topics and all just for the examination point of view so that you can get 32 marks or 42 marks. That's the pass marks for those who are struggling. Alright, so fine then. I hope you have liked the video. Please do like, subscribe and share and more to come. So, and all the best and do well. Study this. This should work out. Alright, you can thank me later. Bye-bye.